Alex Pereira is going to murder Jamal Hill. Can Alex conquer the hill that is Jamal? It's Brazilian blockhead Stoneface versus Jamal Hill. I've got no special names for Jamal, but today's video, we're going to break down some of Alex Pereira's skills. I'm putting off doing my predictions video until tomorrow when I've got my new PC built. It's all came today, all the parts. It's cost me an arm and a leg, but this new setup is crazy and i'm going to do a live stream for ufc 300 this saturday <laughs> i'm excited i can't wait i might even have a little whiskey my diet's being going good i might treat myself so i thought what we can do today to tie us over to tomorrow's video is do a little bit of an alex pereira breakdown because alex pereira is a high level kickboxer so i somewhat relate to him i'm only joking i could already hear you typing in the comments sean you're not a high-level kickboxer. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to break down Alex Pereira versus Yiri Prohaska. And we're going to see what weapons and tools Alex Pereira has got in his arsenal in order to conquer the hill that is Jamal. I made up with that punchline, to be honest. It's going to be murder from Alex Pereira. That is not my official prediction. Not yet. If you want the official prediction, you got to tune in for tomorrow's video. And I'm already anticipating a good solid 5,000 views because me MMA community on this channel, me purebred MMA UFC fans, is actually only small. So in all honesty, this year, I'm looking to build up the MMA community a bit more. So if you like MMA and you're not subscribed to this channel, then subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified when we go live this Saturday. Right, let's jump in. Now, what we see Alex Pereira doing really well when we're watching all of his fights is he likes to keep a lot of distance between him and his opponent. So it's mainly kicking distance that Alex Pereira stands in. He's not standing too close and he's not standing too far away. That just comes from his kickboxing background. Pereira actually likes to slow down the fight. He's not a high output fighter. He's not one of these who's trying to go guns blazing Michael Chandler style. He likes to slow down the fight a bit. And that was a great little combination by Yiri right there. So Yiri actually faked the takedown and came with the uppercut. The only thing is Jamal Hill was on Demetrius Johnson's podcast well, a few weeks ago or over a month ago and he said he's going for the knockout against Pereira. Now, that's kind of ambitious but I do think it's possible that he could get it done. The thing... Jamal Hill has to look out for are those leg kicks of Pereira. And typically because Jamal Hill stands a little bit more upright. So if you take a look at Jamal's style, we'll cover it maybe in tomorrow's video, in the predictions video. He's a little bit more tall, kind of like a boxer. Alex Pereira stands tall as well, but you never catch Alex Pereira with any low kicks. So he doesn't have to worry too much about the low kick element from Jamal Hill. But Jamal is coming off a serious ankle surgery. Was it his Achilles tendon? Alex Pereira is going to chop at those legs. And that's going to be a big weapon of his in this fight. And take a look here. So, Pereira. As. Boom. When Yiri is in a southpaw stance, the body kick is opened up to Pereira. Pereira's right leg is able to come to Yiri's body pretty easily. And we see in this fight, Pereira throws a few body kicks when Yiri is in southpaw. Then when Yiri switches back to orthodox, Pereira always throws that low kick. And that's exactly what happens here. Expect this, right, bump, and then he punishes him for going into orthodox. This is like super high level. A lot of people don't understand the level of technical skill that Alex Pereira's got because they think he's just this powerhouse. Okay, so Yiri gets back up from that leg kick. What do you notice here, right? Every single time that Yiri tries to close the distance, Pereira punishes him. Pereira's got the reach advantage and Yiri knows he needs to get on the inside, make the fight a little bit dirty, but Pereira won't let him. So watch again. As Yiri goes to close the distance, Distance. Pereira's like, nope, watch, he comes in and then bang right there, that low kick. That is a common theme in this fight. And I believe we're going to see that low kick on Jamal Hill plenty in this upcoming fight this weekend. So you see what Yiri's trying to do there is he's trying to blitz in a little bit. He's trying to close that distance. Demetrius Johnson calls it the void. I've used that word a few times as well, copied from him. And I like that word because what that alludes to is the space and the distance between the two fighters. Alex kind of just likes to wait there and wait for you to make a mistake or wait for you to come in and then he catches you. He lures you into a false sense of security. He almost gives me Yol Romero vibes in terms of he lulls you to sleep and then just out of nowhere without any telegraphing, boom, low kick, calf kick. 
and your leg is just completely shot. So Yeri is trying to obviously close that distance there, close the void. Alex Pereira moves backwards. Yeri trying to mix it up nicely. And that's one thing that Yeri had going for him is the, I mean, look at that for a great combination right there so once again as demetrius johnson talks about here is the void this is the distance that alex pereira likes to fight from so yeri is basically forced to press the action and come to pereira otherwise he knows pereira is going to pick him off from the outside but as yeri comes in alex punishes him once again with a hard boom low kick right there now yeri does really good with a bit of head movement manages to get Alex up against the cage and this is where the fight was going to be won for Yeri making the fight a bit more dirty we thought Alex had a bit of a choke there but it wasn't in deep enough now if Jamal Hill is able to get Pereira up against the cage can he do this to Pereira but Jamal Hill has expressed no interest in taking him down he wants to knock him out so let's move past the grappling into round two now this right here look what Pereira's doing he's not throwing anything he's kind of trying to pull you in he's like come on i'm right here for you but here he does well here and he actually catches alex there with the left hook and then he gives a little bit of pressure with the overhand right and he's mixing it up nicely he's throwing the uppercut then knees this is where it's dangerous that was a really good exchange for yeary now yeary almost got caught with this right hand by alex here boom if that would have connected, Yeri would have went to sleep right there and then. But this is what Jamal Hill needs to do. He needs to get Alex Pereira on the back foot, get past that weird, awkward range that Alex likes to fight in. Jamal Hill's got that power. Do not sleep on Jamal Hill. He can KO Alex Pereira. And if Alex can be KO'd at 185 by Israel Adesanya, who isn't exactly a KO artist, he's a technical kickboxer. He's got a few KOs and TKOs under his belt, but he's not known for that power. If Alex can be KO'd by Izzy, you best believe he can be KO'd by Jamal Hill. So if Jamal can make the fight like this, get Alex on the back foot, get him up against the cage, make it dirty, make it scrappy. He's going knee, going for the takedown. Good head movement there. Then the overhand's right. Right hook, left hook. See, that is what Jamal Hill needs to do. Yeri threw a good 10-strike combination there. He was throwing knees. He was faking the takedown. He was throwing overhand rights, a couple uppercuts, then hooks. He was mixing it up whilst putting the pressure on Pereira. I believe if Jamal Hill gets Pereira in these situations, then he'll KO Pereira. And I don't want to say that because... I actually really like Alex Pereira. He's pretty much my favourite new fighter on the block. We've got the OGs, which we'll talk about in tomorrow's video, but Pereira, what he's done is not a short of amazing, but I think Jamal Hill is coming out with a point to prove. You best believe he's not coming into this fight with any doubts in his mind that he's not going to KO this big Brazilian. Now, whether he can do that, a total different story who is going to be able to impose their will on the other opponents now as you can see straight after that blitz yeri kind of goes in again for a second blitz and we notice that alex doesn't really have any way of dealing with these blitzes other than to just back up and try and clinch up and reach for the arms so there is the clinch but i don't think jamal hill is going to want to clinch i think jamal hill will be reluctant to get into these positions right here i think what jamal will do if they do get into this position i think he'll try and create space back up and unload on Pereira. pause yes indeed pause that moment right there he's going to unload everything he's got all over Pereira's face someone clip that <laughs> quick self-sponsorship i've got a training app which i'm going to be releasing very soon and it's all fitness and fighting based so if you want to build muscle improve your physicality and feel like you can handle yourself a little bit better or you're already doing a combat sport and you want to improve your performance for that combat sport then you need to keep your eye out for me app because i'm going to proper smash it if you want to stay updated and notified about it join the mailing list first link in the description and in the pinned comment now i also believe this bit here where yeri separates with Pereira and tries to throw an elbow it's a little bit of a lazy elbow there's not really much pop or fast twitchiness behind it so if you watch it right now right there okay they were tangled up a little bit but i think if jamal hill gets into those positions he's going to be a lot more a lot more snappy with it he's going to be fast because he is fast twitchy i say about alex pereira wanting to control the distance he wants to keep the demetrius johnson void at a distance that he is comfortable with now here's the thing completely forget everything i've just said in this video about the distance that alex pereira wants to fight at because this fight with yeri prohaska he literally finishes the fight from yeri trying to close the distance take a look right here so you got on the outside fighting at pereira's distance yeri closes in actually catches pereira gets a little bit excited and then there you go and then that is all she wrote few elbows on the side of the head behind the ear 
and that's it. I actually thought that was an alright stoppage, personally. A lot of people complained because Yeri got back up quite quick, but after the stoppage, he didn't actually complain. But right there, Alex Pereira baited him in, got Yeri to come in with one of those blitzers, and then was able to catch Yeri on the way in. Yeri throws the right hand. If Jamal Hill catches Pereira with a shot like that, I believe it's going to hurt Pereira a lot more than Yeri's shot. So then that's where Yeri gets a little bit excited. He's like, oh, I hate Pereira. But Pereira's like, uh-uh, no, you didn't. Boom. And then bang, bosh. Down you go, Yeri. So this fight right here, do you know what? It's hard to pick, you know. And if you go through this card, they're all pick and fights. If you've heard of a pick and fight, it basically means pick whoever you want and you've got a 50-50% chance of being right. A lot of these fights are like that. We'll touch upon that in tomorrow's video. Full prediction breakdown video. These UFC videos get a lot less views. They get a lot less attention. Even than the boxing videos, I've got a lot more boxing fans on my channel than I have MMA. And I'm an MMA guy. So where's me MMA people at? Give me some likes on this video, will you? Show me that you're here rocking with me. But I'm looking forward to live streaming this. I'm probably going to start early as well. So I'm going to be on live stream for a while. But who do you guys think is going to win this fight? I'm not going to make me prediction just yet. But tomorrow, I'll make a cement in stone prediction on who I believe is going to win this fight and how. So I want to see your guys' comments down below. Who is your initial pick? And if you want to stay updated about that app, join the mailing list. Okay, like the video. See you tomorrow.